Deride. To deride someone or something is to subject them to usual, unusual, or harsh and bitter insult or criticism. Although derided by a classmates for his instance that he would be a insistence that he would be a millionaire by the age of 25, he achieved his goal when his internet startup went public. And a quote by J.R. Brooks of the Mercury News uh, in San, Ho San Jose, California, on March 12, 2024, states, Founded in 2012, this uh, Redwood City brewery stands out from for its British-style cask ales. It's a traditional way of making beer without adding carbon dioxide, often derided as resulting in beers that are flat and warm. That's not actually the case. Laughter may or may not be the best medicine. Your mileage may vary, but it's essential to understand the verb deride. To deride someone or something is not merely to criticize or insult them but to lower them or an attempt to lower them. In other words, like their self-esteem, by making them appear ridiculous or worth, worthy of mockery. This meaning is reflected in the word's origins. Deride comes from the Latin verb derider, deriderer a combination of the pre prefix D to reduce or to make lower and Wadir meaning to laugh. Wadir echoes in other English words as well, including ridiculous and ridi ridicule. Ridicule functions as both ver as both verb to make fun of and a noun, the act of making fun of. While ridiculous describes what arouses or deser deserves ridicule or mockery, more obscure than other, either of these wide rear descendants is the medical term riderus which refers to a narrow band of muscle fibers in the face that reaches the corners of your mouth to make a smiling possible. One does not necessarily need one's writer wrist to deride something. People in the act of deriding may appear quite angry, even but inspiring the bitter, contemptuous laughter of those within earshot is often the goal.